I really love animals. That's always been a thread in my life. And I really want to make an impact by preserving such incredible species around us. And it turns out I really like genetics. So I was able to merge those two and think about using genetics as a tool to help with endangered species. My research is really focused on understanding the genetic side of wildlife. So essentially I would call myself a molecular ecologist. A lot of my work focuses on wild canines. I have several studies with gray wolves and the endangered red wolf. I want to understand how populations are related to each other. And then at a larger scale, how those populations build species. And then the DNA will help me ask questions about how those species are related to each other. What are the dynamics of their evolutionary past? And then what can we predict for their future? All based on some simple DNA sequences. The persistence of species, when we think from a conservation perspective, is part of this preservation of biodiversity. In thinking about what the wild animals need, we have to think about the community and all of those ecological relationships. And when something is missing, probably because of our activity, we can see those consequences spread throughout the ecosystem. And when we see a species on the brink of extinction, we're hoping to try to find creative and new ways to help the species rebound. So we can use DNA to help inform us what is the history of the species, and then thinking forward, what will the species need to hopefully take them off the endangered species list and put them on the path to recovery. Much of the research that I conduct and my Princeton colleagues conduct reaches different disciplines. So that interdisciplinary aspect of connecting with people in mathematics or in engineering, in policy, in political science. Often this results in a wonderful collaboration for research, but also to give students that experience of those different types of perspectives of how this idea permeates their world. I would really love to see the community outside of my little bubble of working and doing research understand the role of genetics and what we can learn. They can really provide a lot of insights that explain the world around us. And ultimately, if we can save species, I would be thrilled to see this play a role in any species recovery.